going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Well, you saw that thumbnail. So we're gonna go pick up the new toy. You guys will figure it out once we get there and uh, got some also big news for you. We're not taking the rammer, guys. Yep, rammer's going to be sitting for a while now. Um, well, I, you know, we gotta get her fixed. She's, she's not fully broken yet, but there's something going on with her. And I think that the CP4 is about to fail uh, in this truck. So that's why I'm not driving her. Uh, I'm gonna make another video of this, what's going on, what the symptoms that I'm having, and why I think this CP4 is failing and what I'm going to do first. So that's why we're gonna take either, you know, another car, um, but I, I, don't, uh, I don't know about this truck right now. It's, um, it's acting funny, it's, act, it's not normal, and um, I'll see if I can um, start it, and I'll, I'll do all this stuff in another video, guys, but start it and uh, let you hear what's going on with it, but what, uh, what I'm doing first is uh, I'm gonna add, I got a lift pump coming because as you guys know, these CP4s and you know the Duramax and these Rams, and these CP, CP4 guys, these pumps just suck. Flat out, plain, simple, they're just horrible. Um, you know, the best thing for you guys that don't wanna deal with it, and what I'm gonna do, uh, regardless if it's a CP4 problem that I'm having, even if I'm not, I'm getting rid of it. I'm gonna go with the CP3. I don't know which company yet I'm going with. Uh, if you guys know of any companies, comment down below or DM me on my Instagram, at Eddie's Life. So long story short, I'm gonna just put a CP3 in this regardless, just because I just, these CP4s, man, I mean, I know people, they get good fuel, you know, they put lift pumps, uh, they use, you know, additive, which is good. That's what you should be doing. You know, the key thing of trying to, to get these CP4 pumps to last long where they're not, you know, coming apart because the problem is when these do come apart is they just cause so much damage. So, like if this thing were to blow up and it, it was no big deal where the metal wasn't going everywhere, okay, no big deal, I would keep it. But the problem is when these CP4s explode that they cause metal, they put metal in the injectors, your fuel system, everything. You know, I just got a text message from Raj, you guys know Raj, and it was a bad text. Um, he, a customer, he, uh, pretty much deleted his truck and CP4 failed. The dealership quoted him $22,000 and the dealership said, even if you approve it and we were gonna pay for it, we can't like even get any of these parts around. They're on back order for four months. So I feel bad for this guy. So that's why I haven't been driving Rammer. But uh, coming, come October, end of October, desert season starts, I got a driver. So I'm hoping to get all this done before desert season. The lift pump is going to be here very, very shortly. Um, so hopefully, you know, I don't know if that's gonna help. That's not going to fix a problem. And then I've been talking to a company, uh, hopefully their CP3 pump comes out mid-October. So that's going to be great. Uh, then, you know, I'll be worry-free. So stay tuned for that. But we'll get, uh, we'll get, I'll get on all that for you guys into the uh, next video of what's going on. And I'm sure you guys heard about, I think it was like a TSB or something, uh, that these RAM, these new RAMs are having big CP4 problem failures. So. Uh, but we're gonna get into that later next video. We're not gonna worry about that. I'll let you know what's going on with the truck But uh, first let's go. We're gonna go get the car and we're gonna go check out the new desert toy And see you know how it is. All right guys. Oh, we have arrived big Lou Has got the new stacker. So you guys have been asking me what's up with big Lou? Why is he selling the toy hauler? I think he's in there playing around but why is he getting rid of it? What's going on? What's he doing? You guys are DM me very concerned about Big Lou. Oh, there's Big Lou right there. So Big Lou's guy's situation. Well, Big Lou, tell him your situation. I'll show you guys the, the trailer once we're done here. Well, tell, tell him your situation. My situation is I just got a stacker. There you go. <laughs> but why, why'd you get rid of the toy hauler? Oh, uh, because um, uh, I just want a motorhome and a stacker. I think it's a better fit for what we do. What you're doing, yeah. So my family and stuff. Yeah, his problem, guys, is he just, they have too many toys and they would have to take out two trailers. So Lewis would take this, or his dad would take this trailer, and he would put this in the uh, the toy hauler of the buggy, um, or put the buggy in the toy hauler, then he would put this razor in there, and they're trying to pretty much limit to having to take both. So he just said, you know what? Forget it, let's get a motorhome, let's get a stacker. You know, it is what it is, and he'll keep the, the dually. You're keeping the dually, right? Yeah, yeah. The ram, yeah, so he's keeping the dually. And are you selling this enclosed? Okay, so he's selling that enclosed, guys. What is it, 24 foot? 24 foot, look, Vino's. I want to get like six for it, 6,000. 6,000? Okay, there you go, guys. Six grand, 24 foot enclosed, look, trailer. So that is for sale. And I will show you now this thing. This thing's pretty nice. So 
It's sort of like you guys remember uh, LA's Lawrence's trailer, Soapy Joe's. Uh, same, uh, similar, but this has got a little more goody. So it has the awning already on it. He's got the same 75 inch uh, TV outside and it pushes in, it, it turns in. So when you're sitting inside, you can still watch the TV. It's got surround sound in here. It has a uh, Cummins Onan 4000 watt generator. It has an inverter. It has a uh, upstairs sleeping area, I believe. What do you sleep? You can sleep like three up there, right? Yeah, three. Yeah, it's massive up there. It's got another uh, little queen bed here that folds down. You got your bathroom. Let me move this tire out the way. You got your bathroom right here. You got a little shower. I mean, this thing is like a toy hauler. He's got, um, you know, a little counter space. He's got his refrigerator, Dometic fridge. It's got fresh water, 100 gallons of fresh water, propane. He's got a sink. Uh, he's got his little microwave, his Keurig to make coffee. I mean, this thing, you know, it's it's fully loaded. Storage everywhere, fuel, uh, fuel tanks, propane tanks, water tanks. Uh, it's got even surround sound in here. I mean, this thing, it's it's ready to go, guys. And I'll, let me show you, I'll show you up here. So, and this is what's nice too, is because he brings friends, you know, so they can put, I don't know, you could probably put it, you could fit what? You could probably fit a king mattress up here, right? The guy had a queen before and he had some room still, so yeah, maybe a king. Yeah, so maybe you could put a king up here. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's, but there's a, oh, let me get down here. There's a, there's plenty of room in here for sure for what he needs to do. And this is the part right here. So you pull this part right here and the TV goes like that. So we can put some chairs, hang out, you know, just kick back. You can take a nap if you'd like. And you're going to put AC in here, right? Yeah. Because it's hot. Split. Yeah, so he'll put a mini split in this thing just because it's got everything but uh, an AC in here. So that's the only uh, downfall of the trailer, but he'll get an AC system. But triple axle. It has, uh, here's for the uh, fridge, hot water heater. He's got here's propane, two batteries, inverter, and then the Onan uh, generator is on that side right there. And I think the brand, oh, here's the water. So when he's got to fill up the water uh, for the motorhome, he will hook this hose up and then he'll just uh, flip the pump on. It's got a pump in it and then it'll just pump right into uh, the motorhome. But the uh, trailer is, I believe it's a universal. This is a universal, right? Yeah, universal trailers. Yeah, universal trailers. Uh, he's got the dual LED lights on the side, and then he's got the LEDs right here uh, up top so you can see. So, and the awning. Yeah, and he's got the big LED strip on the awning. So this thing is awesome. I just uh, can't wait to see the motorhome. Have we decided on a motorhome yet? Yeah. We have. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah. We don't want to tell him. We'll yeah. wait, guys. <laughs> yeah. Just wait. But we know it's it's a big boy. It's a 45-footer. Uh, we'll we'll let you know the brand once. Uh, we, we've been looking. We, yeah. Lou sent me probably, I don't know, seven, eight motorhomes. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna be a big boy, so so just stay tuned for that. But uh, the setup that he's going with right now is the buggy's gonna be down here, mm -hmm. and the razor is gonna be right up top. And now, how big is this? Twenty four. Twenty four footer. Twenty four footer. So it's plenty. He just like I said, he's got plenty of still room here if he wants to put stuff. Put your generator. Put your cooler. Put whatever you want. Yeah, you can put it on top of there. I mean, this thing it's got a massive amount of room. And what is it? Fourteen feet high. This is, thir yeah, 14, 13, 13 and a half or 13 something? And a half, 13 and a half, yeah. 13 and a half. Yo, this is a, it's a big boy. Big mamma jamma here. Look who's arrived. Whoa, did you, did you work out? Do you work out? I don't work out. I can tell. Oh, look at yourself. <laughs> I didn't say I work out. You guys say you work out. Yeah, you got tan. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got, he just got back from the river. That's how you know he went to Parker. Yeah, the Parker. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the, he got the little, little it was way redneck. too hot. How was Parker? Good? Really busy. Really busy. That's shocking. What do you think about Big Lou's setup, man? I think it's big. Really? I told him you need to just buy this. It's got a bathroom, shower, everything. He's ready to go. It is perfect. Yeah, that's it. He's done. What are you drinking? Cellulite? What is it? Cellulite. Cellulite. Celsius. Celsius. Okay. Celsius. Celsius. Okay, yeah, definitely. Leave a, comment, leave a comment down below if you think uh, Eddie should get a, a toter home and a stacker. Oh, gosh. What happened dude. to you? A 50 foot stacker oh, and a toter home. 50 foot stacker? <laughs> the problem is, is like if I get a stacker like this, like you got to have a 600 horsepower motorhome. Okay, but listen, I have the best idea. Because I don't want to go 35 and 40 mile up the grades. Buy, buy like a Peterbilt and then get like a 60 foot 
Dude, like, that's out of your drive. like a 60 foot no. uh, a stacker and put everybody's toys in and you can live right here. That's no, what I would love to do, <laughs> my ideal setup, that's why I made the garage so tall. I want to get a Peterbilt with like a, one of those 50 foot toy haulers, yeah, those that's... massive ones. And that's it, and put it in the garage. That thing no, that's what I'm saying, get a Peterbilt and we're done. I mean, we'll be good to go. I don't know guys, what do you think? Is this where I sleep? Yeah. Yeah, you sleep up you sleep like up the top. Ma the maids quarters. <laughs> yeah. You clean all the dishes, then you go upstairs and you go Eddie's, to sleep. Eddie's gonna uh, weld the uh, yeah, with the curing? Yeah. yeah, you see that? Eddie's gonna weld the bell to the to the walls and we're gonna ring you every time we want so, you to come down. So yeah, it's, we're gonna ding 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 and then that means you gotta come down, make us our yeah, coffee the, and the French skirts and stuff. Yeah, he's gotta make us our Philly cheese. Yeah, Philly cheese. <laughs> Well, there you have it guys. That's Big Lou's setup, or as a stacker, I should say. We were sitting there talking and sort of debating like, well, dude, number one, you're gonna be like way over. Like he's gonna be like 75 or 76 feet long, which here in California, uh, you're only allowed to be max 65. So, not sure what's going on with that. Not sure, you know, I think these modems only tow 10 to 15,000. I think the Integra tows 20. So, I don't know, his, his thing is he wants to get a motorhome, Worst case scenario, if it can't pull the stacker, he's gonna pull it with the dually, and his dad or someone else will drive the motorhome out. So, we'll see, guys. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.